Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are here for round number 8 of the season for the Spanish Grand Prix at the Circuit de Catalunya Barcelona uh, with Hamilton in the second car. The first thing you might notice is that Charles Leclerc has upgraded to a 90 overall rating so that will definitely help us as I think we had it uh, in here. As you can see the cornering and the reactions increased uh, by one skill point in that way so that is very good. We do have a decent bit of money so we could uh, design any parts although as we know we don't really have as you see here um, we don't have any days left since I did use them so what we could do is research for next year which is quite early to do but I mean again we would need the CFD hours and the wind tunnel hours so we can't really do much uh, on that side on the manufacturing we do have the new suspension that is being manufactured we should get the first one in a day if i'm not mistaken if i just check uh, if i just check the cards i don't think we have the new suspension on yet exactly so uh let's go to the weekend sadly we won't get the suspension for the spanish grand prix but we should get it after but without further ado let me go through practice and i'll see you guys before qualifying so here we are then after FP2, you can see we've got Lewis's satisfaction 94, Leclerc should be probably around 90, so I will skip FP3 and as you can see we have heavy rain in the race, which is going to be interesting, we're going to simulate this FP3 session and see where we finish, as it's P2 and P4 not too bad, Stroll apparently gets a grid penalty which is interesting. As you can see, 90 and 95 setup satisfaction, that is not too bad at all. Driver preparation is quite high, which will give our drivers good confidence for the race. Welcome everyone to qualifying. As we skip to quali then, on Saturday, it is dry today, won't be dry tomorrow. We're going to pretty much do the usual and we should quite comfortably get into Q3. As we're going to skip forward in time, I'm expecting to be P1 and P2 which we are quite comfortably so I'm gonna leave it at that what I do what I did change for this race is that we um, have the Visa Cash App Racing Bulls livery on the car now of course it got launched last morning as you can see they're basically Toro Rosso with a bit of white and red which I rate a lot but I didn't remove the white and red to be fair and keep it even more blue but anyways, that should be us through into Q2 quite comfortably here. So as you can see, we're comfortably in, in P3 and P5. So we're going to Q2 and see if we can do the same thing. We're going to use a fresh set as of course we have. We, we're not going to use any dry tires in the race. So we're just going to go into Q2 and do the exact same thing. Just head out at the start of the session here. Let the drivers drive in clean air as we always do. And then from here it's up to them to deliver. Normal qualifying conditions apply. As we might get out a bit which is not ideal. And stay negative. Stay negative on the dash. Yeah Hamilton was out quite a lot. We might have to go out again with Hamilton. And this time we do get clean air. Hamilton does not improve and that is quite shocking but i think we might just scrape through you know ocon and De Vries don't make it and we scrape through in p10 with lewis hamilton even though we use two sets of softs that is crazy he's one second off of leclerc but leclerc tops q2 and now it's of course time for the top 10 shootout here at um spain we got three fresh sets with Leclerc, we got two with Hamilton, so without further ado, let's head into the session. I'm probably gonna go out at the start of the session again. Maybe send them a bit apart. We really need a good banker here because as we just saw, Hamilton could not improve for some reason. So let's see, uh, Leclerc putting the hammer down first. He does get held a bit, I think. The moment we are P1 to 13.3 Hamilton is a lot faster 
What's Hamilton going to do across the line? A 13.1. Okay, so Hamilton has found a bit of pace now. Perez half a second off. Verstappen tops the timing sheets with by well by about a bit more than half a tenth over Hamilton. So this is going to be interesting. Perez does not get a good banker lap in. So let's see how this last run will go. Let's see if he improves. Main thing is that Charles Leclerc improves. He is improving for now. Will Russell hold him up though is the question. He does not improve in the middle. He does not improve. Le uh, Hamilton is improving. As this last sector will be crucial to get pole position here. Unless Max is absolutely flying. I think he's already improved. He's already done. So it's up to Hamilton across the line. What's the last sector going to be? It is not going to be an improvement apparently. And his last sector was not an improvement. Paris is not improved either behind Magnus, and that is crazy. As it's up to stroll now, can the Canadian um, drop us from our 2 3 position here and get the Aston Martin into the top three in qualifying? Spain would be a track for the Aston Martin as he actually heads into the pit lane and that is him um, done and dusted. So I think that is it for qualifying here. As we round out Q3 in P2 and P3 uh, behind Max Verstappen, that is a very solid lap time. Although we did do these times on a banker and we didn't improve, so that is not ideal. But it's now time for the wet race on Sunday. As you can see, it's heavy rain for basically off the start. I Looks like actually five laps are on dries, which is really weird. I don't know whether to start on softs. And then enters and then wets and then enters again. I th I think we have to start on softs. But I might be completely wrong. Because like it says until lap 8 it should be dry. So I'm pretty sure that means we have to start on the softs. At least that's what I'm going to do. Unless I am reading this graph wrong. I'm not sure what to do. I'm gonna go soft. I'm just gonna send it and see what happens. We're gonna see if Max starts on soft as well. But without further ado, it's time to head down to the favorite lights of the Spanish Grand Prix. The stage is set here in Barcelona. One of the oldest races on the Formula One calendar. This is the Spanish Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. So underway we go then, luckily everyone is starting on softs. As you can see, Leclerc might even go for the double overtake here. Or Max Verstappen. Can he go round the outside here of turn one as our two drivers fight it out. Leclerc gets past Lewis Hamilton. As you can see, we have a few people on hards, which is interesting. Max on softs as well. Hamilton on the used softs. This might not be um, perfectly ideal here. We should have rain in four minutes, so we're going to see what we can do. I'll put the overtake aggression too high on Leclerc. We have to make sure we nail this, um, this pit stop as well as Perez gets past Hamilton. And that is not what we need. Hamilton tries to re-challenge. Can we re-challenge? Ideally, we can, but it looks like we can't, which is not great. Meanwhile, uh, Verstappen is... Pulling out an insane gap ahead. Hamilton's used tires are not good. And Hamilton goes deep into turn one. And what is he doing? He's just standing still. That is not what we need here. Heading, into turn heading down into turn one. He just outbreaks himself. Very heavy on the and then he just stood just still for no reason. That is really not what we need. And that is our first major bottle. Or... Our driver's first major bottle of the season and Hamilton and his new team which is really not what we need okay, pushing. here today as you can see all the drivers are pushing DRS is enabled I don't even have any battery anymore and Perez is right behind us looks like the Red Bulls have insane pace there is droplets of rain falling Copy that. I won't pit Hamilton just yet. I can double stack from here, to be fair. As Perez gets past uh, Charles Leclerc here. 
which is really not ideal. Hamilton down to P20 as well. We've got a lot of catch up work to do. As you can see, Leclerc is just being dropped already. This is absolutely insane. The gap. I hope he even he doesn't. He won't even get DRS. The pace of the Red Bulls is absolutely insane. As we go down to P4, multiple cars in the pit lane. I missed the stop with Hamilton, but I will uh, put this lap on inters with both of them. They are far enough apart, so you can actually double stack. But that is not the best of timing, I don't think. So Hamilton now. overtakes Lando three. Norris down into turn taking. one. And looks like he makes that move stick without going too far up the inside, which is good. Track is drying, but now it's getting more wet, as you can see. As I think we might even get to full wets here. And multiple people are into the pit lane for a set of full wet tires. So, we're probably going to pit this lap for full wet tires as well with both of our drivers yet again. As the two Red Bulls double stack. Track condition has changed to wet. I think that was not too bad. As you can see, we jump a few more cars in the process, which is good. Let me just attack a bit to get the tire temperature up a bit. So here we go then with Hamilton. It might just become dry, you know, which would make this race quite interesting. No more rain the rain no has yet. stopped. I think it is a bit late to pit. Although, multiple people into pit lane, I think that means we are going to pit with Charlotte Leclerc for a set of softs and with Hamilton as well. Stroll pits as well. As we get in front of Stroll in the pit lane, Stroll has a pit stop issue that might just be really crucial. Let's take a look at that pit stop issue, as I just can't get the front left off, and that has proven to be very costly. That might just help us get P3 in this race with Charles Leclerc. As Hamilton peels off into the pit lane as well. Let's see what type of pace we can deliver with Hamilton here. As Verstappen enters the pit lane. As Hamilton is not that far off the podium, I'm just gonna push through here. See what happens. Leclerc drops back behind Stroll, which is not what we need. We head on to the last lap of the race. I don't think we can overtake Stroll again. Hamilton looks like he's gonna stay in P11 as well as it's gonna be Sergio Perez to win the race Max Verstappen takes the fast slap of the race Hamilton might be cooking up a fast slap of the race here ideally as we cross the line It's not gonna be a fast slap for him. Leclerc does not improve and across the line is gonna be P4 and P11 for our drivers uh, quite a poor sh Spanish Grand Prix. No stranger to the podium, the Mexican driver now takes his place after another remarkable race. What an excellent way to take a second win of the season with a composed performance today. And by the looks of things here in Barcelona, the party's only just beginning. As far as Ferrari are concerned, Karun, how do you think they'll be feeling after that race? It was a strangely mixed weekend for them. We saw one driver put in a strong performance, but it was a different story for the other. Definitely positives there, though. And with that, our time in Barcelona is done. For the next round, the teams are travelling to the circuit Gilles Villeneuve for the Canadian Grand Prix in Montreal.
So that was it then with this race. Perez takes the win in front of Max Verstappen and Lance Stroll. We finish P4 with Charles Leclerc. And then all the way down in P11 with Hamilton after that unfortunate incident at turn one. As you can see in the drivers, we are still leading with Hamilton, uh, with Leclerc, sorry, but Hamilton does drop back two positions. And in the constructors, we're only five points in front of Red Bull now. So this is becoming a very, very interesting um, race towards the mid-season break then. We will have upgrades for next race, but that is in the next episode, which I'll drop tomorrow. So until then, from me, it's take care and goodbye.